Hello! Dear God. I am Chloe and I am going to England in Monday. <laughs> I am in the middle of packing right now so my room is a complete nightmare. So you're just seeing this little corner of my room that is not taken over by clothes. And I thought I would share some packing tips with you. Um, I'm going to be in England for 10 months, so that means I have to pack really smart. And uh, thankfully I have some experience traveling, so it shouldn't be too difficult, I don't think. But um, the first thing that I did was make a checklist of everything I wanted to bring. As I packed them, I just checked it off. So when you make this list, I would recommend starting to think about like what shoes do I want to wear, what shirts are my favorite that I want to bring, so that you can go ahead and start like planning out your outfits. I packed each of my suitcases a little bit differently, so I'm going to show you what I did to make as much stuff fit in as little suitcases as possible. So this is my clothing suitcase, and as you can see, it is definitely not done yet. I roll all of my clothes, and that actually takes up less space. Now, I won't be packing jeans in here. If you roll your jeans, they're actually going to take up more space in your suitcase. I can fit like three layers of clothes in this rolled. Small items like socks, you're going to want to just tuck into any corners you can find after you've already put all of your rolled clothes in. This will be a checked bag, which I feel very comfortable about because It'll be sewed under the plane and I know nothing is going to break because it's just clothing. So rolling your clothes is super simple. I'll just show you how to roll a shirt. So you just fold it in half and then I always put the sleeves on top so you can make it as compact as possible and then just roll it as tight as you can so it'll take up as little space as possible. And then you have like a clothing hot dog that you can then put in your bag and save space. I put all of my clothes into my checked bag or things I know won't break. This is a carry-on bag. These are things I want to keep with me and I'll show you how I'm going to keep them protected in the plane. So what I've done with this bag is taken all of my jeans and laid them flat across the bottom, alternating sides. And then I have this really big heavy scarf that I wanted to take um, and I'm just going to do the same thing with it. And then I'm going to lay all of my valuables inside this little clothing pouch that I've made. And then lay all of these down. And it kind of makes a little safe place for my valuables. And then I have this blanket that I put in a vacuum seal bag and that's just going to go right on top so I know that all of my valuables are safe and wrapped up for the flight. This is my final checked bag. You want to make sure that you can fit everything together kind of like a puzzle and then I've stuck just like random things in the holes. This side is all like heavy materials like books, papers, notebooks and then this side is cloth. So I have just a few miscellaneous tips and we're just gonna sit right here on the floor and discuss that. First things first, you should definitely check tsa.gov to see what you can and can't bring. They have a very extensive list including bear spray, which fun fact, you cannot bring on the airplane in either a checked bag or a carry-on. You can, however, bring hairspray and dry shampoo, even though they are aerosols and generally aerosols are not allowed. These products are exceptions, so you can bring those. You need to be very careful in packing your carry-on bag. You can't have more than 3.4 liquid ounces of anything, and all of your liquids need to fit in a quart size bag. I always get the zip top because you can actually kind of fit more in it, I think. And I usually double bag it just because if you pack it like me, it will most likely bust and you will need another bag. <laughs> Now this hairspray is 3.4 ounces, so if I wanted, I could put it in this little baggie and take it on my carry-on. However, this dry shampoo is over 3.4 ounces, so it would have to go in my checked bag. If you want to bring hair dye, like me, which probably no one does, but I found this out. If 
your hair dye has hydrogen peroxide in it, it may not be allowed on the plane. Now that kind of hairspray is generally the kind that's going to bleach your hair as well. This is just a semi-permanent color, it does not have hydrogen peroxide on it, so we're good to go. So all of the stuff that I want to put in my checked bag that's a liquid is gonna go in one of these bad boys. A freezer bag. And here is why. One time, I went on a family vacation. My brother packed his Axe body spray. So when we got there, it had exploded. And the whole bag smelled like Axe body spray. And we had to use laundry service because everything in the suitcase smelled like Axe body spray. Don't let that happen to you. Put your liquids in one of these. If you're like me and your eyesight is terrible, you will have to bring a lot of contact lenses. Just snap off five of each eye if your eye prescriptions are different, like me. If not, just pack however many you think you'll need, okay? And put them in your, where is it, plane bag. If you're going on an overnight flight, you'll definitely need to take those out. Don't sleep in your contact lenses. It's not worth it. You will need to put these in your checked bags, and I recommend putting them in a freezer bag as well because the little foil, I just don't trust that from not popping open and ruining my entire year supply of contact lenses. That's just not gonna help for me, so we're gonna put it in a bag. Get some of these. I think this is a kind that you can like vacuum, but I don't have time for that. I just rolled it, and it has my jackets in it, and now they're smaller. If you're studying abroad like me, I recommend you make one of these bad boys. This is a binder full of every email, document, letter I have ever received regarding the study abroad experience. It took a while to make, but um, now I can find everything super easily. And it has my passport right in the front, and behind this red folder are all the documents I'll need to show uh, immigration as soon as I get to the UK. It's going in my carry-on bag so I know exactly where it is. I will also be taking my folder of all my stuff from my homeschool just in case I need it while I'm over and I can access those documents. So, over the summer, I got some posters. What I'm gonna do with these is roll them up really, really tight and then put them in this gift wrap thing. It should protect it and I mean, if it gets a little bit crushed, I got them for free so it's no big deal. And something to remember if you're going on vacation or studying abroad or just anything is that you're probably gonna get stuff while you're there. So like, I'm only taking one sweatshirt and I'm gonna wear it on the plane, by the way, because it's gonna take up a lot of room and I might want it while I'm on the plane. So I'm just gonna bring the least amount of every item as possible, really. If you have big or bulky shoes, like you need to bring boots for some reason, wear them on the plane. That way they'll take up way less space. And then you can slip some comfy shoes in your carry-on, in like a front pouch if you have it. And then you can grab those and wear them on the plane and you can slip them back into your carry-on when you get off the plane. That way you can be comfortable on the plane and take up less space in your bags. If you have any eyeshadow palettes or blushes or highlighters, foundation, whatever that you don't want to break, never check those. No matter how many clothes you put them in between, don't do it. But you definitely want to make sure it's between something that's going to make sure it moves as little as possible. So what I'm going to do is just stick it in my laptop case because this will always be with me. And since this is flat and like tight, it's not going to move. So that's where you want to keep any palettes or like very fragile items like this. Thanks for sitting on my floor with me and taking a deep dive into my suitcases that will hopefully be packed by Monday. If not, we're in trouble. And, you know, at this point, we might be in trouble, but it's okay. I'll see you on Monday where I will take off for Amsterdam first and then England. So I'll see you then. Bye.